Hi, it's uh, Paul Green here, just doing a uh, live stream with Jackie Sherman. We're here to talk about the um, Ethical Awards. Uh, just to give you an overview, um, if you're watching this, listening to it, and you've got any questions, then you can put them in the comments wherever you are you happen to be tuning in. So, Jackie, before we uh, dive in, uh, do you just want to let us know who you are and what you do? Hi, I'm Jackie Sherman. I'm a management consultant, business consultant for consultants who have left employment and come out into the small business world and need some help in developing their business. I'm also the chair of the Green Business Network, um, which is a local not-for-profit organisation um, which helps uh, local businesses to um, implement their sustainability agendas. Okay, excellent. So uh, we, the idea of this is just to give anybody tuning in um, an overview of what the Ethical Awards are about. Uh, so we set these up uh, about a month or so ago. And the idea is, is just to provide a level playing field to give any business that enters uh, into the 10 categories that we have uh, an even chance or a, an unbiased chance of winning uh, that particular category. We're not saying that every award scheme out there is in any way dodgy. There are some excellent award schemes out there. We're just trying to bring together what we think are the best bits and just offer them uh, out there. So you'll see the uh, website going along the bottom of this video, ethical-awards.co.uk. So you're welcome to go and take a look at the site. I'll share the 10 categories um, in a minute. And really, it's what we're doing is we're just giving businesses the opportunity to choose up to three um, categories that they might want to put themselves in for. Um, and submit an application uh, online. Um, we, you don't have to be at the ceremony in order. There's an online ceremony um, uh, later in the year. Uh, you don't have to be there. If you win it, you win it. It's just as simple as that. And also the judges get to see the um, entries blind. And by that, I mean, they don't get to see who the person is or the businesses that's entered. They're just judging it purely on the content of the um, application. So again, we're just trying to make it as fair and even as possible. So Jackie kindly agreed to uh, sponsor the uh, green business category. So Jackie, do you want to say why you decided to get involved and a little bit about what you might be looking for um, for anybody that would apply for the Green Business of the Year Award? Yes. Why did I apply? Because you asked me, Paul. <laughs> to be honest. I twisted um, your arm, yeah. <laughs> I've networked with you for many years. Um, but uh, why did I get involved? It's something that the Green Business Network likes to be involved in uh, because it all helps to spread the word and spread good practice on the green agenda. Um, but this particular award, I liked the fact that it was making sure that it was an even playing field and that people would get um, a fair chance of, the of um, winning however long they've been in business. So that, uh, that was my reason for getting in involved. Okay. Um, so what about, do you want to know what, what I'd be looking for? Yeah, go ahead, Jen. Yeah, absolutely. These questions? Yeah. Um, I suppose the most important thing is that there is good, solid evidence to support the answers. That um, uh, you know, the first the first question is green initiatives you've implemented. It's 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 the results of that implementation that are really important. So um, so measurable things like your actual carbon footprint. But it might also be an indirect things like how do you demonstrate that your staff were involved and that it changed behaviours? Have you got different business processes or procurement policies? All the all the nests, all the business things that have been affected by this initiative. So it's giving us something a bit more solid than a one word answer. When looking into the future, it would look for answers that show that you, that you were embedding your this agenda into your business strategy and decision making, and that it was growing with time. Don't expect everybody to do everything week one. It's a, it's a continuous journey, and it's really being able to see that journey. 
I like the idea that this this award's got a bit of self disclosure on what you found challenging, what you found hard, and things which may not have have worked out. I think it's important there that you give more more strength to the answer than just there wasn't enough money or there wasn't enough time. It's why did that make a difference, and what difference would a bit bit more money or a bit more time have? Um, might also be that you lack knowledge. Um, did you seek help? What things did you do to overcome your challenges? And why you and uh, and not someone else? Um, I'd like to see some demonstration of a wider impact than just yourself and your business. What impact it's having on the community and uh, others. Um, you know, maybe your uh, supply chain, maybe your customers and your suppliers, how you're working with them. And most importantly, that it that it does demonstrate that it's a journey that you're uh, continuing to, uh, to to work on. So that, that would be what I would be looking for. OK, great. So, so it's worth saying that the, these awards are open to any business in the UK. Uh, wherever you may be there's no geographic constraints and also the criteria against which you're being judged um, are clear on each page for each of the categories um, and also clear when you go through the the, the questionnaire so that mm. uh, everybody is answering the same and there's a couple of catch-all questions as uh, uh, Jackie touched on it might be worth just sort of going through what the categories are so they're they're scrolling along the screen and also if anybody's listening to this live or on replay feel free to put any questions in the comments so we can get back to you. So we're looking mm -hmm. for business person, young business, small business, growth business, uh, team, innovation, customer service, employer, mm -hmm. technology, and green. So it covers a, a reasonable um, variety of different topics, different categories that I'm sure anybody listening or watching this would feel that they could fit into one of those. And as Jackie mm -hmm. also touched on, it's not the biggest business that's going to win it. It's not the smallest business that's going to win it. It's purely judged on the criteria that are given out um, on the website and also in the, in the application. Um, the other difference, uh, unlike some awards, is there is an admin administration fee. Uh, there's obviously some work involved collating all these applications and putting them before the judges. So it's a, it's a, a fee of £25. Uh, that includes, um, if you chose to, uh, a free place at the award ceremony. Outside of that, there's no other costs uh, involved. You, if you win, you're not suddenly going to be presented with a bill to get a trophy or anything like that. You will just get a certificate and a, a badge to use on your social media and marketing, should you wish. So that, that, that's pretty much what we're trying to do. So I don't know whether there's anything else you want to add, Jackie, by way of encouraging people to uh, put their hat in the ring. Uh, <clears throat> no, I would just, just encourage people who are fairly new at business, um, don't be frightened to apply just because you haven't been doing it for very long. If you've been doing some really good stuff, here's an opportunity to shout about it. You've been in business 20 years you might still want to shout about it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so it's, as I said, it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, uh, the uh, website, again, is ethical-awards.co.uk. You'll see the categories are listed. You'll get, have an idea of, of what makes us different. I think the other thing to point out is for each of the applicants, uh, whether you win or, or get through as a finalist or not, um, you will get feedback if you've requested it. So you can actually know why you won, what had you stand out. And also, if you didn't manage to sort of win the particular category, you'll get some feedback on how you performed. So if you wanted to enter next year, you have some idea of the areas for improvement. So I think there's some inherent value in that actually being able to actually knowing you know where, where you could have done better or indeed why you actually won that particular category so that's that's something we're uh, including as well so unless there's anything else you want to add jackie i think we'll just end this quick uh, live stream there and um just encourage people to uh put themselves forward okay